Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a singles reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, this is just a message from my guides for the singles. This won't be like anybody else's reading. My readings never are. So let's see what comes up. We're gonna get. We're gonna. I'm just gonna shuffle until one falls out or flips over or, or I pick it. Whatever happens, and then I'm gonna get the card off the bottom for the two overall energies, and then we're gonna use this deck right here. So what do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Singles. What do we got for Scorpio singles? Scorpio, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we got for Scorpio? Mm. It's safe for you to love. <laughs> Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's safe. Obviously, we have somebody that is watching this that is scared, really scared. So, I mean, the card speaks for itself. You need to open your heart to give and receive. Let somebody love you. Maybe, you know, you got to put yourself out there. Maybe you're, you're not allowing yourself to fully get engaged with somebody, you know, to fully, you know, get to know somebody because of your fear. Uh-oh, I shuffled. Oh, wow, that was meant to be, right? Whatever is meant to be is meant to be. We're going to look on the bottom right now because I just noticed it. So, everything happens as it should. Trust and believe that that is truly the case. If something didn't work out, it wasn't supposed to. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take and that makes complete sense. You know, you have to put yourself out there. You have to open up. You have to give it. You have to give to the situation if you really want love. You're going to have to put in effort. I mean, that's what it says. Flirt. I mean, really, really flirt. Like, be playful. Express your love. That's flirting. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You may have your eye on somebody or somebody may have your eye on you and you're shying away because of your fear. My advice is to go for it. It's pretty clear. That you should go for it. Really, really, really open your heart. Scorpio. What do we got for Scorpio? <laughs> I got to take them. You know that I do. I have to. Ooh. Slow and steady wins the race. The Knight of Pentacles. This is discipline. Very disciplined. This is routine, very, very fixed energy. You are fixed, aren't you? Very fixed. I know you only want something solid and stable, right? You don't want to play games with people. I get it. I, I do. Oh, you must have been burned, Scorpio. Were you burned by somebody? You may have been hurt. You may be resentful and bitter because of it. You know, you may be at a point where you're really frustrated. You might not be seeing things clearly. You may not be very, you're obviously not very optimistic here. It's probably because you have been hurt very badly by another person. I see that. Oh, you have an opportunity here. You do. Nine of Cups, that's wish fulfillment. That's a wish being granted. This is an opportunity to have it. Eight of Cups down here, one cup in his hand. You need to walk away from that emotional disappointment, yes? You've been disappointed. I know that you have been hurt, it's clear. Somebody either walked away from you or you walked away from them. Obviously, you're single and I feel, I see and feel the disappointment. I feel the, the pain. I mean, there's pain here. But you notice the Ace of Cups in his hands. He's got one cup. There's an opportunity for love, like... It's almost like it's in your hands, right? You have the you have the power, you have the opportunity for love. You do. Somebody is interested in you. That you know, are you ready? This is this is the time is now, divine timing. This is somebody that you've probably been waiting for. It could be a Sagittarius. I don't know. Um, but this is 
an opportunity to come together with somebody. This is alchemy as well. This you may have called in this person, you know. Every, this is a card of purpose as well. Like I said, everything happens the way I sh it should. There's a reason. So this is you may have an opportunity to grab on to somebody, but you're gonna have to probably cooperate. You know, this is a give to it the situation to receive, give and receive. Give this is give and receive. Okay, so if you want it, you can have it. That's what I'm I'm here to say. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. I'm not sure that you are dealing with an air sign. You could have been in the past. I'm not sure. You may be dealing with the pers that person now. Maybe, maybe Scorpio, you are dealing with somebody who is very, very hurt, and they're rejecting you a little bit. You know, maybe this person is bitter over their past, and they need somebody to help them heal because this is healing. This could go so many ways. We can go on all day. This this is an opportunity to heal your past hurts and fall in love, perhaps. So, this is coming out of the darkness, realizing that you do have potential. Starting to not focus so much on the loss. You do have a new prospect here, but you have to cross that bridge and let go of the past hurts. I can't make this up, even if I tried. Forgive forgive it's time it's a time of change it's a time of evolution you've changed you're not even the same person that you used to be it's time to release the this is releasing the past hurts this is no longer crying over the spilled milk and realizing that you do have an opportunity you do have an opportunity here it's it's very clear but you're gonna there's a barrier in the way you're going to have to overcome that barrier okay you're gonna have to overcome it um, and that is not easy to do. It's not easy to do. There's something in the in the way that is holding you back from going through those gates. Through those gates, the get grass is green. The, you know, there's abundance over there. So you 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 just need to go. You need to go. You need to you need to, you know, face the challenge. You whatever. Ooh, some of you are dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's no doubt. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this, look at that, I mentioned Eight of Cups earlier. You need to uh, stop restricting yourself. Take action. Act now. Don't even, just get moving. I think that whoever, that whoever is coming in somebody is somebody's coming it's probably been a waiting game it probably hasn't been a waiting game maybe there's been a delay there's been a period of stagnation or going very 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 slow because of fear i feel whoever you are dealing with is very stable very solid very secure very um wise this person is a hard worker this person has something to offer something solid and when they commit they aren't going to leave this person is very steadfast when they make a commitment they stick to it this person doesn't give up i feel as though you need to there's don't wait be wasting any time okay don't waste any time it's time to take action and let go of that emotional disappointment that we talked about seriously Okay, I think you've been taking a long time, but I think the time is now. It's time to come together with somebody else. This is divine timing. I feel like you have somebody that's going to help you to heal. I feel like my guess is it's an earth sign or a fire sign. Um, this person could really, really make you happy. So I feel as though... You have to make a decision. The very this card right here, the two of so two of swords, two of wands. You have to make a choice. You're at that crossroads. Do you want to keep letting your fear hold you back, or do you want to step into your new future, your your new life? That is this crossroads. Okay, um, you there's a lot of indecision here. I feel like you have the powers in your hands. Here's that two of swords I just talked about. You you may be trying to protect yourself, right? You're you're blocking your emotions. You're not giving your heart to anybody. Blocking. These are both blocking. 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 They're both of these cards. So you guys are blocking somebody from loving you. And you know you you may not you can do that subconsciously. You can. 
you know, your your energy is everybody can feel your energy, believe it or not. You may think you're not blocking, but it looks to me like we got somebody here that is not mastering their emotions, not not opening themselves up, really protecting themselves in a huge way. And it's because of the past hurts, like I said. So I feel as though there's like there's like no victory here because you're not mastering your emotions. And you can try to point the finger at somebody else. It doesn't do any good for me. Um, but this is this reading is for you, Scorpio. Okay, we got somebody here. This is this is upright. It's replacing fear with faith. No faith. <laughs> no discipline. Right? Or a loss of will. So I think you have discipline. I do think you have discipline, but you're afraid to give it up, right? You're being very disciplined. This is loss of will. You know, there's no, there's no uh, will. There's a loss of direction here. It's like there's no real momentum because you're not taking action. You're not really doing anything. You're blocking. You're blocking. My advice is for you to take action. It feels like you have somebody that is very attracted to you, that wants you to give them a chance. This person, um, I think this person is very passionate. This person is stable. I think this person, um, can help you to heal. So if I was you, I would give them a chance. I feel like you need to come out of hiding. This is isolating yourself, not opening up. A time of reflection, a time of, you know, planning, refocusing. So maybe some of you, this is where you're at. You know, I'm just, I'm isolating myself. I'm becoming consciously aware. I'm working on myself. I'm just not you know, putting myself out there. I think you've been down a really long road. It's been a long road. It's been a long journey. And I think that you're very, very, very close to coming out, coming out of your loneliness, coming out of your, your cave. But I'm not quite sure you've, you've done that yet. You could have a Virgo as well. I mean, this is Virgo. But I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn pretty pretty strongly here. Um, right now, this is a time of healing. It really is. I think you're still healing over something, and you're so, so close. But, you know, one, I see the snake, and I know, and, and I go, I don't follow the book or what anybody else. Once bitten, twice shy. That's what just came to me. I think that you're very scared. You're really scared to get bit. You're really scared to fall in love. But I feel as though you are going through a period of enlightenment. And I think that you're changing. At, you're really going through some major changes right here. There's no doubt about it. I think your spiritual growth is is really at its peak, perhaps. You are probably manifesting your soulmate. And I think that... Whoever is coming into your life is somebody that you were is worth is worth it. They are definitely worth it. But you need to get in the driver's seat and you need to take back control. You need to find that will. You need to find that faith to come out of a hermit mode and let people see see you again. You know, let start seeing people again. Stop hiding. Just put yourself out there. Stop blocking. You have been blocking. You have been. Um, lack of awareness. This is lack of awareness. This is a need to forgive. And the Three of Swords is a need to forgive. The Three of Swords reversed. And this is a need to forgive. You need to forgive. I understand that you have been hurt. Somebody may have criticized you. They may have misjudged you. Or they didn't treat you fairly. Or you may have gotten involved in a karmic situation where you needed to learn a lesson. I don't know what it was. We all got lessons to learn, just so you know. But... I feel as though, you know, you've been in hiding and it's time to come out. Um, this is a this is a card of self-doubt, self-loathing, lack of awareness. You, and like I said, it's funny that I mentioned subconsciously before. So you may be, you may not be aware that subconsciously, you know, people can feel your energy. 
So it, you need, you know, if you are in hermit mode and you really don't want to be with somebody, if that's the energy you put out, well, then that's the energy you're blocking. If you've got a shield up around you, you know, subconsciously, then that's what everybody sees. You need to break that barrier, break that shield, let people in, open yourself up, be playful, be very, very playful. It is safe for you to love you need to wake up. You need to you need to open your eyes. It's time for you to live again. It's time for you to have fun. Express your love to others. Uh, take action right now. Right now. Right now. Take no more thinking about it. Like this is act now. Think later. Stop thinking about the past. Just forgive the past. Accept this is lack of acceptance. Lack of forgiveness. It's you know, you accept and forgive, and get the hell out. I mean, lickety split. Okay, so stop, I mean, when I say get the hell out, stop denying yourself an opportunity for love because there's an opportunity for love here, there is. Somebody wants to come together with you. They are interested in you. I see that. But it's like you have such a barrier up that you won't let them in. My advice is to give them a chance. This is not giving anybody a chance. No, I don't trust you. I can't. I mean, it is what it is. I feel... This is you, Scorpio. In hermit mode. Think, 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 think. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But deep down, I really don't trust you. Whoever it is that is coming in, they are very grounded. They are down to earth. They are solid. They are long term. Give them a chance. That's my advice. Good luck.